Hello and welcome to the Sugar Chest Antique Mall WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial you'll learn how to make pages and posts and modify them after you've published them, how to update your promotion slider on your home page, and all the basics of WordPress. Um, to log in to your WordPress dashboard you go to sugarchest.net forward slash wp admin and when you do this it will take you to um, your login page which I'm already logged in so it bypasses that. You have your login credentials, uh, username and password and they'll take you here to your dashboard. Uh, on the sidebar here on the left you'll see posts. Uh, if you click on posts you'll view all the posts that have been written. Posts are articles and not pages. They can be uh, organized by category and uh, each post can have multiple categories if you like. Um, your media sections where you up upload things like photos and PDFs and things like that and it gets archived by dates. Um, links, don't worry about it. Pages are what show up on the menu at the top of your website. Pages and subpages. And comments are disabled. Promotions is the graphic slider on the home page. And we'll cover that first. So here, here you'll see promotions, add new promotion, categories, and slider options. Right now we only have one category, home, and that's the slider on the home page. You can have multiple sliders on multiple pages if you like by creating different categories. Um, slider options I wouldn't worry about. Um, and you can add new promotions. And if you click on promotions, it will show you the ones already existing. Now right now we have two promotions. As you can see, we have two slides. One for your eBay store and one for um, right now it's going just to a random photo. We're going to change that to show this new graphic that I made, collectibles, as an example. Now, uh, right now the second one's called Site Sparkler. That was a default. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that to edit it. Site Sparkler, I'm going to change to collectibles. And then I'm going to go down here where it says Featured Image, and I'm going to remove the Featured Image. And then set a new Featured Image of the image I just created on Photoshop. Now please note that the slider is by the dimensions of 902 pixels wide and 235 pixels high. Um, anything outside of that, uh, vertically or horizontally, will be cut off and anything smaller than that will show a gray area on one of the sides, on the right side actually. Good, so now we are going to pick the new slider image, slider2.png, you can use JPEGs, you can use GIFs, PNGs are just the cleanest format. It's going to crunch the file for web, and then this is going to drop down. any second. There we go. Good. Now I want it to be full size. You don't have to worry about any of this. All you have to do is click use as featured image. It's saving and it's done. You can go ahead and exit out of here. Now promotion slider options change linking behavior. You can have when you click on the slider go to uh, link on the same page or you can open the link in a new page. I open link in a new page for the eBay store because it's outside of the website so you, they can stay on the website and open the eBay in a new window by clicking. Um, if you want to have them simply redirect typically for something inside of the site you would want it to link in the same page. Um, I have it currently going to cafe. Uh, let's say I'll have it go to how about services? Click on services to get the URL services. Now if it's inside of the site you just have to put services. Now let's try that. Update. Creating it would be the same way instead of update it would say publish. Okay, now we are going to go to the home page and it will refresh the slider. And here you see Sugar Chest Antique Mall. Click on it, opens in a new window, takes you to the eBay store. Close that, go back to the site, go to second slide, collectibles. Click on that, and it takes you to services. It can take you anywhere you want. 
So that's how the slider works. Now creating pages and posts. Um, if you click on post, same thing, you'll see all of the posts that already have been written. Uh, these are all the ones uh, from the old template um, and they can all be deleted by clicking on this, bulk actions, move to trash, apply. And to add a new post you click add new or add new on the sidebar or if you're on the front end on this top panel you can go add new post or add new promotion or add new page from here on the front page. This is also a, a easy way not using the backends because it can be kind of complicated in the new WordPress. Uh, like let's say I click on services, I want to edit this page. I can just simply click edit page while I'm on the page services and it will take me to the edit page for services. It's that simple. To add a new page, add new, and then it takes you to a blank one and then you can pick which parent category? What, I'm sorry. Which parent page it will be under? If there's no parent, it will show up on the menu bar. If there is a parent, it will show up as a drop-down menu for that page, and that's how it works. So that's the end of this tutorial. Email me if you have any questions, and I will be updating the site as per your specifications with the new page arrangements. Thank you, and have a great day.